feel me, I feel you, we feel each other, you feel you, I feel me, I feel you, we feel each other, and we, we are, are the Kikai Girls! Kikai Girls, it's Sherry Ann and T-Pack Angel live online. Kikai squads, Kikai fam, Kikai friendships, all over the galaxy. You know, Sherry Ann and Tita Angel are back. Happy Mondays. Happy Monday. Yay. Hi, Sherry Ann. Hi, Kikai girls. Welcome Hello. back to our, I can officially say welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our show. Yay. Yes, and you it's know what, Tita Angel? Yes, third episode. And guess what, Tita Angel? We are also live right now on our very own hub at www.talalovesradio.com. So if you guys are not able to actually watch our Facebook Live right now, you can also tune in at www.talalovesradio.com. Yay! We're live and hopefully we'll end up with echo. I don't have any more echo. Let us know, guys. Give us a shout out. Leave a comment down below if you can still hear some echo. Hopefully not because we fixed it. Yes, we did. Can you believe that? The bad trial and error galore, Tita Angel. <laughs> and we would sleep in the in the wee hours of the morning just to do a technical run. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. But every time yes. we do our episode, I'm still nervous. I think this why? Is why are you nervous? No. It's natural for you. Remember, we've been planning this for over a decade now, and finally, it happened. Deba, we are so blessed. And this is our third episode. And I was doing a research. You have to at least, depends on your show, we have to do at least 22 episodes to make it a season, a, a full one season. Some some shows can be 13 to 17 uh, episodes, and then they can they can uh, claim that they're in one season. But I think for a talk show, it's 22 seasons. So. Right, yeah. right, right. And we are on our third show. Can you believe it? We're surviving, which is super awesome. You know, this is the last week of April. We are going to make, can you believe that? Time flies when you truly are having fun. Despite of all the disaster, the um, calamity that's happening right now with COVID-19 as well. You know, speaking of calamity, um, giving, um, sending our hearts to you guys at Fort McMurray, Tita Angel, um, with all the flooding make sure to get your boat ready your <laughs> you need uh, to you uh, never know <laughs> hey, i'm giving you some smiles my heart goes out to my fellow fort mcmurrayans fort mcmurray strong hashtag of fort course strong. you guys have We're been there so done that you know you guys have been doing like you know that's the cool thing about um I've noticed with Canadians, Port, like, you know, with Calgarians, um, from people from Fort McMurray, the spirit, the humanitarian talaga is nandyan. Solidatari, o, di ba? And the resilience. I can see some resilience among people here in Fort Mac, you know, watching the feeds, watching those um, live feeds that they've been putting up on their social media accounts like Facebook. Right. It's just heartbreaking, you know, how to see people, how how much dev how much devastation this city has has been through and has been through actually and since 2016 um fire and then now it's flooding it's just the river breakup it's just so much things going on if you want to stay tuned for for that particular news google is the best source of information guys so but yeah. yes and of course for government I'm, I'm not sure if the government would have that updated as well in Alberta. The Alberta government, alberta.ca, should have more information in regards to um, government aid or, I don't know, um, the legit information for sure. Yeah, that's right. Actually, our premier, Premier Jason Kenney, was here earlier with, with um, a couple of um, government officials. I know one is our, was our mayor. Right. He was around Fort McMurray and the affected, especially the affected areas, the downtown area. Right. And they saw how how the the river broken up into pieces, like the ice, uh, the ice, uh, ice blocks that's right. trapped 
underneath that uh, bridge connecting up to from from our community all the way to Edmonton. That's the only bridge that connects um, northern part of the city to the southern part and to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, if, oh if that bridge collapses, I, I I don't know. But they said that it should it should um, how do you say that it should. Um, it's very strong that it's not going to be affected by vibrations and how how the water the current of the waters and those um ice break up so i don't know but that's the only way because we cannot go as uh, we cannot go anywhere near uh, anywhere f north right because we're by borealis forest and there's no service road so. oh my god anyway anyways you know what um God is there with you guys. I'm sure um, you guys are going to be okay. Just hang in there. And we'll, we are praying for Fort McMurray. So guys, other than that, happy Monday. Hello, Tita Angel. How Happy uh, Monday. I know, Monday. No, <laughs> left the Bible. We only waited six days for it. <laughs> I, I was really excited. I was excited yesterday, the other day. The, well, I had a day's off. I asked Sherry Arm for a couple of days. A day oh, no, no. <laughs> She's bugging me on my phone. She said, Did I put it in the files? But I never reply. I said, my mom, I should know. <laughs> she asked me for days off. That's so funny. Of course, you can have your days off. <laughs> right. But, but anyway, we have so much things for you guys in story right. for you it's good vibes lang everything should be good vibes and positivity no hate no hatred no drama no nothing no. just but you know despite of what's going what's what's in this happening in the world unprecedented times right now we just need to you know infect other people with a good virus just like what say Chris TV would always say don't say, let coronavirus affect you yes. just love 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 virus say yes to love 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 virus but yes. before we go Sherry, I would you like to promote all our shows under the yes. power labs radio yes 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 so again guys every mondays it's kikai girls which is from 7 to 8 p.m we also have um Paula Loves Radio, 94.7 FM, every Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And, of course, Sai Curry's TV, our kids show, every Fridays from 7.30 to 8 p.m. And, of course, don't forget to also tune in to our 24 hours, seven days a week, worldwide radio at www.com talalovesradio.com and you know the cool thing about this to angel de bangayon like we have our 24 hours no Tita, it's really good like actually i invite everybody to tune in to tala loves radio um dot com for class trends music from billboards um top 40s to um the classic opm to the newest trends guys you know i i tell you this is amazing i've been sleeplessly like you know <laughs> working on this oh, no sleep Sleepful or no full rest for <laughs> sharing. I've been working so hard for this. I was doing the program sequence guide for our show right. and doing some editing for the news. And she messaged me, Tita, you have to tune in. I said, Where? Here. I'm playing the billboard top charts, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Okay. And then I cannot hear you. You got to push the play button so you can hear it. And then I did. I said, Yeah, yes. I know. Playing the billboard charts. Yeah. Well, right now, actually, they could also hear us on that. When you are on your mobile, you do need to press the play button. But then when you're on your desktop and your laptop, you don't need to. It's automatic. No, I have to I have to press the play button on my. I'm using a MacBook Pro. Oh, so maybe on know. Mac. Okay, maybe on yeah. Mac. Okay, cool. See, I that's why I gotta do all the implementation. But guys, let's get to our news, right? Um, Kikai News. Yes. Here you go. Kikai, Kikai Girls got a story for you. It's Kikai News. Hello, I'm Tita Angel for Kikai News. In today's top story, it's not anywhere near over. A message from inside a hospital ICU fighting COVID-19. According to the report of Sarah Peterson, Wendy Mesley, and Lisa Mayer of CBC News, Mark Homstoffville Hospital, just northeast of Toronto, had its first COVID-19 case in late January. 
Since then, its staff have cared for hundreds of positive tested patients and of which dozens have been put on life support. Many people have survived and gone home to their families, yet nine have sadly, sadly died. It's been an emotional roller coaster for everyone who works there. Mark Stuffville has more than 90 confirmed or suspected COVID-19 patients, and now there's a new threat, another potential surge of cases coming from outbreaks at nearby long-term care homes, group homes, and shelters. At the same time, the medical staff are worried Canadians are becoming less vigilant about physical distancing, even those who have the virus. Ignoring these health recommendations of physical distancing would leave many more people, especially our vulnerable neighbors, having to fight the beast we all call COVID-19. Meanwhile, care homes across the globe is in the spotlight over COVID-19 death rates. Residential care homes have emerged as key breeding ground for infections from Madrid to New York to Los Angeles. Joining us today via pre-tape interview, one of the administrators of a care home health facility in downtown Los Angeles in California. Here's the full story. Hi, good evening, Alfred. Thank you so much for letting us have this pleasure to interview you for tonight's show for this news. I have a couple of questions for you here that I know and all the viewers would be very happy to know and it's an informative way of conveying that message to everyone, especially in your county. You're in Los Angeles, California right now and we are up here in, North, uh, in, in uh, Northern Alberta, in Fort McMurray, Alberta in Canada. So first question for you, are there any known cases of COVID-19 in your facility? Hi, Angel. Good evening. Um, um, I'm very lucky and blessed that as, as we speak right now, we don't have any COVID cases yet in my building. And hopefully we can keep it until the end of this crisis. That's pretty, pretty nice to know. What is it being done to protect your healthcare workers and patients within your facility? And are there sufficient supplies of PPE to protect the healthcare workers? Well, um, education is very important. It's very important with this type of um, crisis. And washing, of course, we educated, I educated, and my team educated, especially the nursing department, about infection control, which is a proper hand washing and mm -hmm. proper wearing of PPEs. Okay. Um, and number one protection, too, aside from hand washing, the second one is about PPEs. Mm -hmm. So I am very um, fortunate enough that my company provides enough PPEs to my staff. Very nice to know as well. So you are an administrator in your healthcare facility. So as an administrator, what strict guidelines are being followed regarding the sanitation of your workplace? Well, um, I work in a skilled nursing facility, so um, or they call it convalescent home or a nursing home. Mm -hmm. So we're basically funded by federal government. Mm -hmm. So everything that um, we do in our facility, it has to be approved or there's policy that um, approved by the federal government. Mm -hmm. So there's a strict ruling when it comes to environmental and sanitation. Um, and we follow that. Very strict. It's very strict yes. in, in that. So we use, um, cool. um, for, um, we use Clorox products to okay. make sure, and it's a COVID, COVID approved um, wipes right. for the high surfaces area to kill the virus. And um, I have a good team, I have a good housekeeper, de housekeeping department. And they follow the strict rules. We follow the strict rules about okay. that. That's pretty good. And in the event that one individual, Alfred, or a number of your frontline workers contract the virus, what is your contingency plan? Or do you have any contingent measures with regard to the manpower requirement to continue to care for the patients in your facility? It's a very important question. Um, we need the manpower. Um, we really need the manpower. So we have a policy and procedure um, that we created when it comes to employees um, staffing search. So number one that we need to do is um, I have about 
30 managers, you know, department, we call it department heads, mm -hmm. like different department, housekeeping department, maintenance, nursing department, dietary, social services. So we will utilize them all first mm -hmm. when um, one or two, God forbid that my staff got sick if they get sick with this infection so we'll utilize the um the managers if if um, my managers also um really i'm um, having problem with staffing i we are contracted with different um registry staffing agency mm -hmm. so that's that's uh i have two contract with staffing agency that can help us if um i will have a problem with staffing and also the state of California, Los mm -hmm. Angeles County, um, they are also very supportive. They call us at least um, every two days mm -hmm. if we need any help, BPEs, staffing problem. So that's the contingency for staffing. That's good. And talking about manpower requirement and your contingency plan, should there be um, a need for you to hire people in the event that there would be an outbreak to your um, facility. We all know that some healthcare workers also have been working in other various healthcare facilities. Um, Alfred, do you allow staff to work in your facility considering that they can acquire the virus from other healthcare facilities which they worked in? Um, good question too. Okay, um, if I remember it was April 17th um, it was released by the Department of Health in California. Um, it's about 87% of the data um, of a nursing home, assisted living, 87% um, already had a COVID um, outbreak, or mm -hmm. at least they have staff or they have patients with COVID, positive COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really hard. Um, nurses really they don't they, they have like double jobs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um there's a big tendency and possibility that um one of my staff who goes to a different facility can contract the virus there right. but we follow we follow um risk exposure there is a high and medium risk mm -hmm. and there is a low risk and there is a no risk at all so if they fall into low risk and no risk at all then they can still go to work. But if they fall under the category of a high or medium risk, then um, automatically we put them off quarantine for 14 days. So, okay, so that would be in place. Okay. And then um, for, for my employee, um, if, if my facility is their second job, I require them minimum at least to change their scrubs and change their, um, at least to wear different shoes when it coming to my building. If they can still go home, take a shower, better, but minimum that I asked if um, we're their second job, we asked them to change scrubs. Okay. Um, Alfred, you are an essential worker. Um, can you tell us about your personal fears of contracting the virus while working in these frontline essential roles? Um, very scary. You know, um, at this point in time, it's not about going to work. It's about going to war. It's um, it's a war that you don't know who, who's attacking you. So, mm -hmm. of course, um, I have my family. My, I have my mom and my dad. Mm -hmm. Thank God they don't live with me. They're mm -hmm. like under 70s. And, and, um, and, and, and my husband. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it's, it's, it's really scary. But... I know if I'm doing the right thing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm washing my hands um, more often. And if I'm exposed, to, if I will talk to any residents um, wearing proper PPEs. And, and I know I'm protected. It is what it is. And, and God is watching us. And God is watching me. And God is loving and protecting you. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Alfred, for this wonderful moment that you shared with us. And thank you for doing what you do, being a frontline staff, being a frontline worker. And thank you so much for this um, opportunity that we had you on the show. And please be safe. You take care. Okay, my pleasure. Um, stay safe and healthy. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred, for that interview. And for the latest Kikai Scoop in showbiz, here is Sherry Ann.
Prince Louis celebrates second birthday with stunning new portraits taken by Kate Middleton. Brought to you by E.T. Happy birthday, Prince Louis. The youngest of Kate Middleton and Prince William's children is turning two this Thursday. And to celebrate, his family has released five new stunning portraits. The images, which were taken earlier this month, were snapped by Louis photography loving mom, Kate, at Anmer Hall in Norfolk, England, where the family is currently quarantined amid the coronavirus outbreak. In the photos, Louis, wearing a blue and white button-up, adorably smiles with rainbow paint on his hands. Another photo shows his handprint in all the different colors. Sharing a sneak peek of Prince Louis' handiwork ahead of his second birthday, the caption the Kensington Palace Instagram account reads, We are pleased to share images ahead of Prince Louis' second birthday tomorrow, taken by the Duchess this April. It's clear just how much the little cutie has grown since his first birthday portraits. In addition to lots of hair, Louis' personality also shines through in the new images. Happy second birthday, Prince Louis! Kikai News! Only here at Kikai Girls! Brought to you by Tala Loves Radio Worldwide! And that's the latest news for today. Thank you for watching Kikai News. Until next time, back to the studio. Yay! And we are back! We are yeah. back! Back. We are finally back. I just want to make some clarification because that uh, was pre-taped and then the information over the last week and uh, oh. emergency alert. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> over flooding. Oh, no. I just want to make I just want to make some emergency alert announcement. This is for people who live in um Albert in, in Fort uh, Fort McCormick. Yeah, Alberta emergency from Alberta emergency alert over overland flood alert updated by Re regional municipality of Wood Buffalo today, April 27, 721 p.m. This alert is in effect of the regional municipality of Wood Buffalo. So there is an urgent alert. Check it out. Check it out, guys, for those people who are actually living in Fort McMurray and the neighboring um cities. Neighboring town, small, small towns. Small towns. So, but before we continue, share, let me just um let me just clarify that the global confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of today, right. um, April 27, 2020, is at 2,981,592. Wow. And then the total number of deaths is at 206,803. And then the total number of people recovered from COVID-19 is 869,935. That's a good Yay, news. Yay, that's, that, that is totally, you know, that's good news. Like, I mean, you know, our hearts go out to those people um, that perish. But, hey, there's a positive note to all of this. So all but we still have we still have to continue to share to flatten the curve or to plant the curve. Yeah, so guys, stay home, stay safe, and if you need to be out there, please do so just to grab your groceries, you know, um, avoid so um, avoid being out there, um, being in big crowds, because that's the rule that we have right now is social distancing. Always wash your hands. You can too. Wear masks. Always wash your hands, your sanitizers. Come on, guys. Let's spread love instead. Like what Say Carice would always say, say no to the coronavirus, but say love to the love, love, love. But, but. Bye, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking before, we were talking before we go live earlier mm. and, and you, you were telling me, oh, don't worry about that. Feel good. The show must go on. I just want to share it to people. Mm. And then I said, yes, I have to. It's, dito na kasalala yung bread and butter. Alam mo. Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> Uh, and then she said to me, um, if it's really urgent, you will hear an alert coming from the government. And I just did. There you go. Alive. So do you need to <laughs> evacuate right now? Doesn't say that we have Doesn't to. That, okay, yeah. then we're okay still. So guys, going to our Kikai Reacts. Okay, here you go. Which Tita Angel and Sherry Ann here at Kikai Girl. Kikai, Kikai Reacts. And it's reaction time. time. And she's very brave. She's very, very 
very brave. That is trending right now, though. That it is very trending. Yes, a lot of people are watching. Have watched this one, right? I've... Well, you know what, Tita Angel, like with this lady catching the crocodile, it looks funny, right? But at the same mm -hmm. time, but it's not, huh? But it, huh? It's not funny. It's, it's... not funny for for this one, you know. Yeah, it because we funny. because we all know it's for a source of living. Mm -hmm. But she's That's trying right. to do. But then I'll like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's either me or I'm like, it's in her mess bag. <laughs> she's probably getting paid, but I hope she does get paid well for that. For oh my gosh, I know. Well, we know. Shit. Before we go on, yeah. Um, there is another uh, alert message here that's um from the government, uh, local government here in Fort McMurray, together with a uh, government of Alberta. Okay. For whoever is watching us right now that lives in Fort McMurray, all the downtown area yeah. is in mandatory evacuation as as of, as of right as now. As we speak, okay. As we speak, yeah. It's a mandatory evacuation, the whole downtown, downtown area. Yes, the, the, I think the, the situation down there is getting worse as opposed to getting better, if that makes sense. Mm. Um, the water level is getting higher. Um, yeah, and to those uh, other non-affected areas early this morning or early this afternoon. So it's official. Um, there's a mandatory evacuation for all people living in the downtown area. Be safe, guys. Be safe, Be safe well. Fort McMurray. Our prayer, you know, we're praying for all of you. Um, going back to our Kikai React, yeah. here you go. Yeah. Hold up like this. Oh you my need goodness. It. Really cool. it's it's worth it. Why is she touching her hair with her gloves? It's gonna be worth it, okay? okay. Now, now look, I want you to take that bundle of hair and move to the front. front. So there's literally somebody in a car, <laughs> in a car right next to me. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 Actually, stays. Amy, 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 come back, come back, come back. On the plastic. Do it, do it. You can't go inside. Do you do this? 
Oh, okay. Now that's just ridiculous. ridiculous. You can't. You can't go inside. Is this a prank or something? You can't. I will not let you go inside. I want you to watch it. I want you to watch it. I want you to watch it. I don't like that. I want you to watch it. Those are germs right there. Yeah. Two sections and bring it to the front. Hey, 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 come here. No, no, you can't. No, 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 no. Please. Okay, this is a prank for sure. Two sections. Bring it to the front. No, just okay. watch it. Yeah, just like, yes. like that. that. Now, now I, want I want you to take your left hand side. Okay. Take your left hand side. Right now. I want you to take that section of hair right there. What? And connect, connect it with this front part of hair right here. Connect oh it. Oh my gosh. Connect it. Really? No, no, don't worry about this it. This is really funny. Connect it. <laughs> She's very cooperative. Don't worry about. So take this. She's very cooperative. And I want you to connect. Maybe because she knows together. that she's getting filmed. Maybe not. Okay. But she's following oh the instructions for, for significant yeah, other. Like but you want to connect them. And what did you start the hair? You want to move the hair to the front. I'm going in. You want to move to the front. What did you start to become a hairstylist? Oh my goodness. Come here, come here, come here. No, come that's here. a major prank. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Okay, okay. okay. That looks good. That looks good. Why store like this, Paul? Come Amy, on. Now I want you to do the same thing with, with the other side. side. Okay, okay. orange stretchy. Take it. What? Take it. But all I can okay. think of is his hands. And other second. No, you need this. How do Trust I need me. this? You need this. I'll what explain after you do it. What do you want me to do this again? Is this like Connect, a mask or something they're trying to create? Oh, my God. Here, here Ronald from Japan is watching hair. and he what said making a mask hair good. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now, no, no, not yet. Now, now I want, you want you to spread the hair over your nose and over your mouth. Why? Oh, that's pretty. Let's do it. Spread, spread a little more. I'm taking these out super young. No, it's because I saw you walk out of the house. Hey, I saw you walk out of the house without a mask, so here's a face mask. Are you impressed or. Oh my goodness. That is just too funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know what? I mean, that was funny, but guys, this is all for laughs, okay? Don't do that. Like, did you know that our hair is actually what collects the most germs out there other than our hands? Well, for me, that's what I know. <laughs> so that's pretty it's, disgusting. Yeah. Right? It's just for laughs. It's just for laughs. It's not it's just for you for to laughs. Do it. We're all smart people. It's just for laughs. But, but hey, funny. you know what? That is pretty handy though. Like, I mean, it did turn out to look like a mask, but I don't know about the protection from like germs from that though. No, I don't think so. It's not going to filter any, any, well, maybe the big ones, but you know, the droplets, I don't think so. Exactly. There's open in between the hair, hair shafts, so. Right. So, yes. So now going to our next one, Tita Angel, okay? Um, I know this one, but I'm not sure where it went. Um, but before anything, let's let's go back to our live here. Okay, I, can I just greet some people here, Yes, Sherry, let's just greet, yes. Mom. Okay, I just want to greet my mom. She's uh, one of our avid fan watching. Hi, mom. Hi. She's in California. Mommy Evelyn, she's watching in California right now. Hello, my, my uncle JR, uh, he's watching in the Philippines in Bulacan. Hello. My friend Eric and Emil. Hi, Eric and Emil. And there's a lot more here. Hold on. I know. And my brother's my watching from California. Mike, Mike is watching. My Tita Pinky is watching from Bulacan. Kuya Ronald, I just mentioned your name earlier. Hi, Kuya Ronald, watching from Japan. My husband, Tim, is watching too. Hi, Tim. Go hello, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello. DJ Solrak is watching right now. And same with Sayi Karis. She's watching with Baby Tala. Hi. Yes, with Mommy Cherry, um, Daddy Vic, to all my family in LA, Tita um, Vergi, um, shout outs to Nane Lit watching right now, to my cousins, and to my family in Laguna, in the Philippines. Hello to all of you watching. So this is cool. <laughs> yes, Tita Angel, that was pretty funny. Right? <laughs> so now going to our... Q&A? 
Oh, did, did we play the last the, the last one? I can't find it. Okay, let's go to Q and A. Yes. And then bye. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, guys, again, it is 7:35 p.m. here in uh, Mountain Standard Time here in Canada right now. Well, in Alberta, in the western part, with your awesome host, Tita Angel and Sherry. Sherry. Because here at Kikai Girls. You, you feel you, you, I feel me, I feel you, and we feel, feel each, each other. other. We are the Kika Girls. Parang yung opening bill natin, no? It's like our opening billboard. Oo, di ba? Kaya tayo na lang mag-commercial, o di ba? Going to our newest... Segment Q&A, Kikai's Q&A. Do you have a question for us? Well, we got the answer for you. It's Kikai Q&A time. Sherry and Angel, uh, how did you guys come up with uh, your show name, Kikai Girls? So, Tita Angel, how did we come up with our show name, Kikai Girls? It's not easy as it seems. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not easy. We 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 thought of a lot. We thought about so many things that would you know reflect our personalities, both of, of our personalities. Um, there was a pandemic girl because we are for we are starting the show <laughs> during the pandemic time. Yes, and then we have this one. Let me just grab it because I I made it Let here. <laughs> Make it ready for me. Okay, just give me one sec. This is actually a one day. We actually brainstormed for maybe an hour or two hours till we came up with our actual sh um, show name, right? But we were actually brainstorming and we came up with the Tabo Girls. <laughs> Uh, we are you know why Tabo Girls? You know why Tabo Girls? Because during our, when we were doing the brainstorming for the show, right? Um, that was during um, the, the scars of the people are pa doing panic buying shit of with toilet, toilet paper. <laughs> yes. The bar. Right. <laughs> and then in the Philippines, we don't, we seldom use toilet paper. We use Tabo with soap and water. Yes. <laughs> we <like> <laughs> Hey, but you can use tabo in so many ways. Like, you know, you can use it to like pl um to plant your garden, to plant your pots, uh, to water your plants pala. Sorry. Right. <laughs> you can actually make buhos buhos um when you're showering instead of using the shower to actually save more water. Kaya our tabo is actually a big 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 Big. Yes, and it's a water saver back in the Philippines. It's a yes. very big water saver because it saves a lot of water, especially with, you know, having difficulty getting a clean water for, exactly. for everyone. So this one helps. It's yes. not like... <laughs> we are the Tabo Girls, but no. We are... Tabo Girls. <laughs> no, but Kikai Girls. Think, so, so how no, it became Kikai even Girls? Kikai's, it even became uh, Kikai's lifestyle. Remember, Chef? Yes. His lifestyles. But then we're like, okay, well, you know what? Somebody made a comment that, okay, well, what? why not? Because you guys are girls, right? Diba? And we are so kikai. Well, Tita Angel's more kikai than me for sure. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Can we explain what kikai means in, in, in English? Because we know kikai. Kikai is like, um, it's not really flirt, but it's more no, it's on... Not. It's um, on yourself, like witty, um, you know, like when you're Kika, classy, like, trendy, trendy, you like things, you know what I mean? Like, you like things that are trending, you like things to make you look good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I know, right? Oh my goodness. But no, but Kika is more like of a wit kind of thing. Like, um, Kika, you're very... Wit, may we wit, classy. Yeah, exactly, classy. Um, Angie is watching. Hi, Angie. Hi, Angie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, that's how we came up with Kikai Girls. Uh, 
the, the name of our show, Kikai Girls, right? Yeah, Kikai, so, we're both so yes, Daddy Vic, that's how we came up with it, right? That's a good hey, so, Daddy. <laughs> that's a good question, though, Daddy Vic. So here's our next question. Hi, Hi Kikai Girls. girls. Hello, Matt. Hi, Matt. She's watching too. My, My question, question is, what, what more can we expect, expect from your upcoming shows? shows? Thank, Thank you. you. So, Tita Angel, what more can we expect for our upcoming shows? We just had this Q and A. So this is one of the new segments that we created for everyone. So we can do an interaction with our viewers, right. with you guys, you Kikai people, Kikai squads. And then you can throw, you can, you can say your comments, you can do your shout outs and we can greet you during our next live or right. the next episodes. And then if you can, you guys can ask questions and we will answer it. And if we don't have the answer up front, we will do some be a really good research for you. Yeah, and I was going to say we were going to Google it. <laughs> and, then, and then during our pre-planning, before we, we, we come up with, with this idea of the show, um, Sharon and I talked about, uh, if, for example, if her and her family would go somewhere, we would do a live feed or just to bring you guys with us on our travel, on our journey. So you guys can see also, you know, the places we've been to, the places we're visiting, that kind of stuff. Yes, because so it will take you guys here first at Kikai Girls, right? Everything, would be, everything that you will see would be our first in Calgary and in this show, always yes. the first. Yes, yes, yes. So- I hope that answers you your question, Mads. Thank yes. you for asking the question. Yeah, so next question, Tita Angel. Hey, Kikai Girls, it's Space 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 Oh, it goes to Magut Nyan. I know. It goes to You'll be the, uh, the one to answer. Yes, of course. Um, Here at Kikai Girls, there are potentials for sure that we will be guesting, um, you know, from our local artists, um, talents, um, local personalities, and also in the, you know, in the business, in the entertainment. Yeah, the more surprises to come for sure yes. with regard to interviewing people and featuring people in our show. It's part of also Matt's question, what else we can um, show to everyone or put yeah. in our show. It's a surprise, but there's going to be a lot of things happening for sure. Yes, 100%. there's so many things in our heads that we, like, we try to like keep it in there right? because we have to do it gradually but no there are a lot of things that we have up for you so please if you haven't yet please like our page here on facebook especially because we are active um with facebook live and face our facebook page at Tala loves radio um with all our shows that's happening with all the news that we're um involved in the events please um like it to be informed right to be well informed and some people, that's right. And some people can tune in to the Tala Loves Radio official website and they can listen um, to our show right class. now. That's right. Our show right now, other than the class trans music and the, the ones that play being played in the Billboard charts, they can hear us too, you know? Yes. So please support, please like our page at Tala Loves Radio 947FM on Facebook, our Instagram at This Is Tala Loves Radio, our Twitter at Tala Loves Radio, our YouTube channel at Tala Loves Radio Worldwide, and of course, our 24 hours, seven days a week, worldwide radio at Tala Loves Radio Worldwide at www.talaloveradio.com. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I, I remember your father was um made a comment last episode. Angel is still echoing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not really? Anymore. Not anymore. We were able to fix it, guys. So we're really happy about that. 
So and we have a virtual people clapping for us, right, Shay? Yes, thank you so much, guys. And of course, here you go, our last question for today. Okay. Hey, Kiga girls. I really, I really like, like the show. show. It reminds me of uh, oh, a TV show. Is there any plan to be you guys uh, going <laughs> mainstream or, you know, being oh. played on TV? What's going on there? The major bad guy, of Younger. Ayan. So, Tita Angel, would you like to answer that question? Um, Everything that's going to happen here is through the management, of course, and the viewers, you guys. Of course. Um, it, it really depends. Um, we cannot say anything as of the moment. Everything yeah. is in, in limbo. Uh, what do you limbo. Say? Uh, it's under negotiation. Go, so oh, I go, yes, yeah, I cannot say yes. I cannot say no, but let's see. It, it's a really good surprise and it's a blessing if ever we're going to go to the mainstream media. But we don't know. We cannot say, we cannot confirm nor deny. But I know something is cooking, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next topic. Hashtag <laughs> Kikai Girls. Kikai Girls, guys, support us. Diva. Oh my gosh, you know what? Can you believe it? It's 7.46 p.m. na, Tita Angel. 7.46? We only have 16 minutes left? Oo nga, di ba? Ang bilis. Feeling ko, nag-chat lang tayo for 5 minutes, eh. I know. Um, I'd like to shout out, sorry. Yes. My sister-in-law, um, that she's watching right now, um, Mitchell Lustre. Do you know Mitchell Lustre, she? Nope, but hello, hello, Mitchell. Hello, Hi, Alfred. Alfred. Alfred is watching. Hello. And Lua is watching all the way down in the land down under Australia. Under. Hello, Mitchell. Hello, Mitchell. So, the hair. It's the hair. Yung kulot mo yan. Tita Angel, yung kulot yan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so what do you have next? And then of course, say hello, hello to Angie. Sabi niya, hello beauties, miss you ladies. Hi! Hello, hello uh, Ralph, hello Emil, hello Mitchell. Ayan, oh, the Hi Tita Merivek. Hello DJ Solrak, Armando Reyes. Hello to all of you, Mikey Bailon, Ronald Herrera. Hello, guys. Hi, Kuya Ronald is, in, uh, is watching from Japan. Hi, Hello. Kuya. We're all Hello. over the galaxy, pretty much. In fact, fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, with uh, love virus and not coronavirus. No. <laughs> yes. So speaking of our shows, guys, don't forget, um, Kika Girls from 7 to 8 p.m. every Monday is Mountain Standard Time with your beautiful host, Tita Angel, and of course, and my- Cherry Ellen! Ay! Yan, o, di ba? Ay! Ay, ay, gusto daw niya. O, di ba? Hello! And then, we also have our um, local radio that's happening every Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. at Tala Loves Radio 94.7 FM with your DJs, Sherry Ann, and of course, DJ Soul Rack. That's every Thursdays, 7 to 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time here on the air, on the air, through the airwaves here in the airway. Airway and surrounding cities up to Okotoks, High River, um, Lake Louise, Banff, our backyard, right? Um, oh, I miss Lake Louise and Ang ganda doon, in fairness. Those are like the very first spots here in Alberta. I know, very peaceful. Diba? Sobra. And then the it's like being in a postcard. Diba? I know. One day again, one day, one day. After oh. this pandemic, we'll travel the world. Shit. We will. Oh, we will. Definitely would. Germany? <laughs> huh? Let's go to Germany. Sure, then let's go to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ni Maria, I don't know if Maria is watching. Maria, if you're watching, itutuloy ba natin yung Las Vegas? Oo nga, no, Las yun. Vegas, girls. Oh, after the pandemic, di ba? Can you believe it? Can you believe it, Tita, going back to the pandemic, as much as we don't want to go back to it, you know, it truly affected the world globally. Well, world globally. Um, imagine the city of sin, the sin city of the the city that never sleeps is actually. They shut it down. They shut it down. Yeah, no lights, nothing. But anyways, going back, 
going back. Forget about the nega right now. We're here to spread love and positive vibes, you know. Um, it's good to be aware of what's happening with around us, but let's not dwell on it because our life does not revolve around COVID-19. Well, they revolve around us, and we are going to beat COVID-19 together. Diva! Kaya last week, right. it's gonna happen! Yay! Take a moment, I'll get to that then. Hold on. So, take two. Las Vegas is going to happen! Yay! 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 We'll do, we'll do our show there in, in our hotel room or Diva. even on the street. I'm saying and then bring everyone there and then Maria's gonna be our camera girl. Hoy wag kang ganyan na kay dalawa by bangayan. Well, it's me nothing to me chat group kami. My god, murdered na murdered na ako ni Maria. Murdered na man. But anyways, going back to our shows, every Fridays guys, we have our kids um show with Sai Curry's TV with Sai Curry's aka DJ Love every Friday from 7:30 to 8 p.m. and also soon tune in with her in a, her newest um, she'll be DJing also for Tala Love's radio worldwide pretty soon. So tune in for that. And don't forget our worldwide radio. Tell 94.7 FM and it's available 24/7 at talaloveradio.com official website. Yes. And if you're using a mobile phone, don't forget to press the play button. I learned the hard way. Yes. Okay? If but you're using soon. the Mac that's right. Play the the press the play button. If it's a Windows base, it's automatic. It's automatic. So guys, again, our worldwide radio twenty four seven www.talalawsradio.com, and that is Talalaws Radio World. <laughs> Anyways, we're having too much fun here. So, guys, let's go to our next segment. Again, you are here with Tita Angel and Sherry Ann. Kikai Tips. We got you covered, Kikai girl. Tips. It's Kikai Tips. Collect a glove from the dispenser. Check for any visible tears and other defects. Gently open the glove of the cuff and insert the hand into the glove. Once, Once the hand is inserted, move the fingers down into the gloves, gloves fingers to properly align it and ensure you have a snug fit all over. Roll the cuff of the glove down the wrist until the glove is secure. And now apply the same technique for the second glove. When removing, first, grasp the outer edge near the wrist area. Fold it over and peel it away from the hand, turning it inside out as it goes. This will trap potential contaminants inside the used glove. Once the glove is off, hold it with the gloved hand. To remove the other glove, place the bare fingers inside the cuff without touching the glove's exterior. Now peel it off from the inside, turning it inside out as it goes and using it to envelop the other glove. Finally, discard them appropriately and never wash or reuse disposable gloves. In fairness, that's how I take off oh, gloves, right? Oh, very good. That's good. That, that's yes. how I do it too. So Actually, now I really Oh, I, I do the whole, uh, I don't, you know, I'm OC. <laughs> so now proper way of mask, right? Use of mask. You look sick. I got infected. The doctor said I have respiratory infection. Then wear a mask to protect Ooh. yourself and others. Attention. Hey. Thank you. How to wear. First, choose the appropriate mask size. Mm -hmm. Children should choose the child size. Wash your hands properly before wearing a mask. When, when you, you put, put on a mask, mask the metallic, metallic strip should, should be uppermost. 
The cut side, side of the mask faces outwards. Position the elastic bands around both ears. Mask should fit snugly over the face, extended to cover fully the mouth, nose and chin. Mold the metallic strip over the nose bridge. This is cute. In fact, most surgical masks adopt a three-layer design which includes an outer fluid repelling layer, a middle layer serving as a barrier to germs, and an inner moisture absorbing layer to do away the mask inside out. That is the proper way of using a mask. It needs to be three layers before it could actually work, which totally makes sense. That's why, you know, like when you're wearing this, um, those um, fashionable ones, make sure that it's three layered and you can have it however you want. But of course, if it's smashed and you do it three layers, it won't matter. You're still going to get infected. So once you put the mask on, do not touch it. Do not fix it. Do not arrange it. Once it fits, it's not, and that's it. Correct. So you have our guns. proper hand washing. I know wet hands with water, of course. Apply enough soap to cover the palm and rub hands palm together. Step three, right palm over left dorsum with interlaced fingers. Palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Backs of fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Rotational rubbing of left cl thumb class in right palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with class fingers of right hand in left palm and vice versa. Rinse hands with water and make sure it's warm water to be more effective than just using cold water, right? Dry mm -hmm. hands thoroughly with a single-use towel. And there is a summary of steps of washing your hands. And always make sure to, I always use my towel that I use to wipe my hands with to wash, to hold the doorknobs. I don't touch doorknobs. That's true. That's true. Right? Um, so guys, again, um, with this COVID-19 happening right now, let's be, um, I know, let's be aware of what's happening with our surroundings. Social distancing is a must. And of course, we'll give thanks, of course, um, to God for for what's happening, I mean, to, to for keeping us safe and pray for the ones to all our frontliners. So Atita Angel, speaking of frontliners, let's say thank you and sending them much love. Here you go. Let's watch this. From our essential workers to our frontliners, um, to everybody that's still working right now, thank you all so much for being a service for to one another, Adiba. It's not easy to become a frontliner. Even no. those people that works in a grocery store, the stock stuff, the shelves for like for people, 
Correct. It's it's very essential. It's very important. Very. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to bring you know food to our table. It's going to be hard. Exactly. So once again, Every it's eight p.m. Boo. That was my fast. <laughs> Let me hear you say boo. boo. I know you proposed ni Tita Angel na two hours daw dapat yung show namin the other day three hours naman daw. Anyway, so no umpisa at the beginning. Sabi niya, oh one hour might be too long. Okay, first day of the show. I think two hours. I think we need two hours in the first ten minutes. But guys, anyways, much love to all of you. Sending um our love and God bless everybody. Thank you, God, for your love and thank you for everybody that watched us. Again, this is Sherry Ann signing off and Tita Angel. You feel you. I feel I me. Feel me. I, I feel, feel you. you. We feel, feel each, each other. other. The love because we are the. Chica girls, have a good night, everyone. God bless. See you next Monday, 7 to 8. Bye.